London here we are and we're heading over to do a workout in a place that I've been wanting to go running for quite a while there's a Strava segment around the park and it's probably about top thousand people in it are all running like 325 per kilometer pace it's absolutely insane the quality and clearly a good place to go training I think I forgot to say where I am Battersea Park the session is underway first five kilometers at marathon pace and then we'll dig into the other stuff feeling surprisingly good maybe it's the uh, good old chestnut of being somewhere new and also there's lots of runners around here it's got one more rep to do probably one more kilometer that's the session done at Battersea Park and it lived up to its expectations now I've just got to run back it felt good it really did but when you're coming back from an injury in a way or having some Achilles tendonitis it's always about after the run doing all those right things staying hydrated doing a few dynamic stretches keep moving don't just sit still eat well and uh yeah see how it feels over those 24 hours after. As you can see Buckingham Palace in the background and I think about roughly maybe here is where the London Marathon finish line is walking around London you can find like literally vegan stuff all over the place what do you think of this cinnamon roll yeah it's good I wish I can you feed me Oh, thanks. It's soft. Mm, it's glorious. So good that I'm not even talking to the camera. If you're in Notting Hill area, Benji's Cafe or something, I recommend it. They used to doubt me, now I got them like, wow, making boss moves, I've been on a roll. I'm blowing up, gotta put them on hold. So we've come to, I don't even know what it's called, it, Black Hearts. I thought it was just like a restaurant, but it's actually almost like a, a biker bar. No, not a biker bar, because Emma's here. That's <laughs> true. You can get some of those patches on Emma, it's like, okay. But yeah, I had a Sunday roast, vegan style. It was absolutely delicious. I'm being a tourist in my own country, and being a tourist in my own town, and that's something that's really fun to do. I don't know what it is, but sometimes we're so stubborn where we live, we don't want to go and do the touristy things. But right now, having like Sunday lunch, walking around like, oh, I didn't like enjoy walking with the, the tourists down at Holston Road. But I got myself some new running shorts, that's what I came here for. Back at a restaurant that we ate at the other day, Mildred's, and I got myself a nice porridge. I, as you can tell, I'm hungry. A, I don't actually remember what it is, like alu, like I guess Indian style toasty. Emma got the pancakes, some nice juices, and yeah, I'm so excited. This whole London trip has been basically like an eating fe feast in a way, just going out, trying different things. Eating holiday. Yeah, it's been so, it's been really nice, and I think that's also you know like part of running a lot and being active. Yes, last two days in London, we've done over thirty two thousand steps. So yeah, you've got to fuel yourself, and that's like important to think about. Like in all this marathon training, you've got to 
not just A, eat a lot, but you've also got to B, eat kind of healthy and good foods. And that's what we're doing right here. All plant-based, lots of vegetables, lots of good, healthy nutrients. I'm gonna eat. Welcome to Kent, the Garden of England, also very hilly. For an easy run, there's a lot of sharp uphills, obviously also included with that are downhills. Speaking of which, look at the wall ahead. It's quite beautiful, got to say. I do remember the lanes here in Kent being a little bit narrow Okay, you probably can't tell from me running, but looking ahead, you can see there's only space for like one car to go past or to go. So how, if another car comes across another, one of them's gonna have to reverse for a good like 400 meters. In a love stream, it's where I'll find you. Emma just put a hood up and it's been raining loads and she thought it was going to be a uh, keep her nice and dry and her neck oh. warm and what <laughs> happened? Loads of water went into my yeah. <laughs> uh, Maybe I won't try it but yeah we're walking and it's so nice to see these white cliffs here on the south coast of England and yeah it's amazing how they I don't know, those cliffs, they just like drop off and like that over years, the erosion from the sea and so nice to see and typical British weather, of course, the rain has come. We wouldn't like it any other way. I have actually got a rain jacket in my backpack, but only yesterday we were in London with millions of other people and this, I'm telling you, is way better. For me, at least. In a long last place where a young Mark found his first few feet became the person I am. We are at Bethany School and this is where Mark, why am I talking to myself like that? And I've run this loop a lot of times which I'm just about to do and that was my bedroom up there. Touch my hand and my whole body goes haywire yeah you got me get this is a prison not quite a boarding school yeah that was hard I didn't talk too much to the camera there's a 5k loop that I used to do with one friend and it's also known famous here at the school it's called the continent and it's, uh, it's really hilly up and down i was really sucking on that last kilometer which just goes straight up but let's see here we're the crown here we're the king of the school i'm pretty sure and confident that i am it's uh just desserts as they say
we've just come out to a completely new place for both of us, Dungeness Beach, and as you can see behind me, well you can't see in the camera, my cliffs of Dover are right over here. They used to be in Dungeness here, like uh, over somewhere there. Like it looks desolate and everything, it looks like it. But there used to be a nuclear power plant there, and uh, now it's just like, I think, maybe not abandoned, but uh, <laughs> as you can see, Emma just doing that there. It's very windy. windy. There you go. Away from the uh, objects on the Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. Thank you. He took it easy. He sandbagged me up <laughs> and kept talking, pretending it was really easy. Like, no. uh, yeah, Mark, yeah, that's it. Yeah, shame we can't go for curry everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, St. Martha's. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm here with Ben Notley. Maybe, Hello. Maybe you recognize him from his YouTube channel. Okay. I'll put a link down below. And uh, yeah, we're here out for 7 p.m. run. It's a little bit different for me. And also we're in Guildford, his home place. It's pretty epic, I like the sights. Yeah, we'll see them tomorrow, but should we carry on? If you want to, I'm yeah. not sure I can. <laughs> Which way are we going? That was a pretty epic run with Ben, so pleased to have done that and now I'm going to tuck in some good quality food, some stirred fried vegetables, broccoli, nice bread roll and some kind of lentil, I don't know, chickpea soup with, what was it Emma? What? What was in the soup? I don't remember. Yeah, we don't remember but sweet potatoes, rice and lentils and I am hungry, that is for sure, and pretty excited. But yeah, thanks a lot for the run, Ben. It was a pleasure, and didn't really see much. It's dark outside, so wake up tomorrow, maybe go and do it all over again. Today, in the same place, Chantry Woods, look at this nature around us, walking with Emma, and wow, it's just so beautiful to see it. I mean, it was beautiful to run with Ben and, you know, the peacefulness of the night and everything. And it's something magical actually running in the night when you can't, when you don't know what mass of expanse is going on around you. But yeah, beautiful skies and making the most of it today. You move into the tank, so sneak out the back. Yes, I can feel it.
So yesterday with Ben out on the North Downs way in the forest, in the mud. Today, a little bit of, I guess we could call it urban exploration. Got the castle here, Guildford Castle. Heading to, I think it's over there, Cathedral, could be wrong. But uh, just have some fun and get around discovering. I think it's always one of the best ways when you go somewhere new is to go around and run around and it's like a free guided tour sorry not guided tour but a free tour of the place and you get to see so much you get a really good bang for your buck but if I take a look at these gardens they're so nicely kept and it's definitely better than finished spring which is like ice and snow all the time so yeah grateful for this Okay, one thing's for sure, I can tell you, Guildford is not flat. <laughs> There's just hills everywhere, so makes for good training, even on a easy run. Funnily enough, and I should have done better, it's park run day. All these people doing park run, I should have timed it, so I should have gone and done it. Oh well, next time, let's uh, let's do that. Will there be a next time? When will be the next time? And in which country will be the next time? Is actually probably one of the bigger questions for me. I think I was actually meant to go that way. But uh, well, ad hoc, go to say. 